Uh, yeah, so the, the captain's still <laughs> spread eagle on the bed. <laughs> the sunken Jesus ship. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> so shitty. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone type F in chat for Captain. I had, I had so many bad rolls on those persuasion checks. Why, why are you so non-persuasive? That's the thing, there's just rolls. I got plus five. <laughs> Dude, both of my sleight of hand checks have been... I rolled a one and a two. On a d20. What are the odds? I'd say fairly low. 5% chance to get a each one. So, if you were unconscious, wouldn't you just die? Probably, but we'll find out. Uh, you probably... Oh, should I be on this beach yet? I don't know, maybe the water woke me up. I haven't pushed myself over yet. And I somehow sw swam. I was really looking forward to uh, this turning I... into Berserk. I think it's more of a... We got thrown onto the beach, not a... Yeah. If we were crashing into the shore, is what that means, it wouldn't have been too far from the beach or whatever. Yeah. Probably. Also, how did Hodges get four more cards? Because <laughs> he was trying to delete them and drew more. <laughs> the only thing that makes sense to me. It's actually impossible to get rid of them. Park's not back yet? No. Did, I, did I get rid of ownership of these journals somehow? Like, still have them. Oh no, Ryan, I don't know if this is the correct beach, but this seemed somewhat logical. Well, it would be unfortunate if we were... Uh, or it could be down here, maybe. If all of our equipment was gone... Yeah, that does seem fairly uh, yeah, unfortunate. The was in my satchel, as well as the gold in the scroll. So what's gone? Nothing. The rum's gone. Look, a treasure chest. Are you exploring without waiting? I'm just on the beach, man. I'm just chilling, looking around. And now we begin Path of Exile. <laughs> yes. What's going on, guys? Oh, we're just we're talking waiting. shit about you. I want to eat real quick. I'm really hungry. Uh, dude. Why didn't you do that while we were sleeping? Did you have a whole pizza? Is no, Hodges one during the last break? Is Hodges actually just blind when I'm not around him? Didn't you eat a deep dish pizza in 30 seconds during the last break? Yeah, that was me. Wait, how do you know how little I can see? 
Because there's no light Wait. emanating from you, and I assume as a human you don't have dark vision. <laughs> Good fuck. There should be none emanating from you either, Alan. What? There should be none emanating from you either. <laughs> there is. I have a torch, torch apparently. Oh uh, yeah? You just crashed through the ocean, how'd you get a torch? <laughs> um, I've had a torch unless you're taking our items. Yeah, but it wouldn't know. be lit. There's a light on me, that's all I'm saying. That's... Uh, another that's question. Control. I can't control um, my light. Another question. Did you guys get the short rest, actually. Did we, did, did we get a short rest while we were in the ocean? <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice relaxing swim. That's one way for a what the fuck? <clears throat> Wait, does that heal us? I don't remember what short right, rest what's do. the last thing I remember? Blood in your eyes? Going unconscious. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. What is the short rest calculation for healing? I f magically found myself floating on my shield. <laughs> that makes yeah, sense. You, you think you get your shield? <laughs> <laughs> He's so worried. Family heirloom. <laughs> Roll me a d20. If you get a 10 or above, you get to keep your shield. <laughs> okay. Guaranteed he loses it. <laughs> you it for... What are bye the bye. odds? Bye bye. Literally, what are the odds? I, I didn't see you roll. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> as well as my wakizashi. <laughs> Maybe we could search for it. <laughs> yeah, I've got my dark vision. I might be able to go. You want to search the rock? <laughs> Maybe. I'm sure your shield floats, right? That makes sense. Yeah, I'll just make a new one out of driftwood. <laughs> <laughs> Are we on the correct beach, by the way, Parks? I know which beach you wanted us on. Mm -hmm. No, seriously, why is he emanating light? Yeah. I mean, I should have all my stuff. There's no reason why I can't. Light a torch. Yeah, but it shouldn't be lit already. Then, are we starting? Take your short rush. We don't. Uh, we how, how do I how calculate, calculate it? the health game? Ask Pal. He does. Yeah. So you can throw <laughs> a one hit die at a time and see how much you recover. You throw a hit die and then add your con mod. So whatever it is, I don't know what it is for your class. I can't just click hit D10. dice. Tim is a D8, I guess. We each have three hit dice. You can throw one and then see what you get, and then you can throw another. So this only did throw one, right? I, yeah. I don't understand though. What is a uh, what is a hit die? A hit die is a mechanic used to recover health. It's um, like a pool of dice that you can spend during rests. You spend them during short rests or long rests, and they replenish on a long rest. So, so how many total hit dice do I have? Is it you have three D12 because you're level three. Okay, you, so then if I want to per... roll it, then I have to change the number to one, and then you get roll? one per character. No, 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 no. You roll so, a d12. So he's asking, you add in, your con in the mod to the result. Yeah, I'm asking about the interface. In the interface, where it says your hit die, it should say hit dice d12. Is that correct? Slash r1d12. No, don't worry. Uh, pow. Hold on. Okay, if you, you want to click dice on the character buttons. sheet. Yes, pow. If you want to click on the buttons, pow, you can please. adjust the number of how pow, many you're going to Please, gonna, please stop pow. talking over me. You're the one talking over me, dude. Well, I'm trying to explain it concisely. Nice. I'm trying to tell him how to do it. Brian, you have a hit dice thing <laughs> on your You can adjust sheet. the number and click on the button. I think so I recover that. three health from that, right? Mm-hmm. And now can I go again? Mm-hmm. Is there a button? Oh, yeah. You can press yeah. F arrow to repeat the same action you just did. Yeah, or okay. you can click hit dice on your character sheet. 
is what I was trying to say. Is there any point to saving a hit die here? Well, you can't I go mean, above your maximum health, right? The I mean, yeah. It, so if you're really like close, two health. If you're really close to max, you probably don't want to spend one if you have large hit dice. Okay. Especially if we have other means of topping you off, such as a a healer's kit or whatever or magic. I don't know. What no one has a healer's do. kit. I have a healer's kit. What do you have a healer's kit? Standard adventuring gear. Well, I was thinking we would find that stuff in between levels one and three, and then we kind of never went over all that. Yeah, like I, I don't even I never decided on like rations and stuff. Like I don't know if I have any food rations. I don't have that written in my thing. Didn't he say we we all have? I don't think we worked that out yet. I've got ten. ten. I, I've got an explorer's kit. But Park said basically to ask if you can have something, and then he'll say yes or no. He basically told us we have a fixed amount of rations. I don't remember the details though. Uh, error. What do you mean an error has occurred? I'm refreshing. Hey, you know, this little thing on the ground kind of looks like a tower shield. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, the one that's <laughs> broken is the I lazily swim over to it. No. I'll tell you what, make me a perception check. One. Ah. <laughs> can I, uh, can I roll perception for him as well? What you think is the tower shield that you lost, you actually flip over the plank and you see the bound, tied up, dead body of a, a captain from the ship you left to die in the hole. Yes. Oh yeah, it must be really woozy. Can't really perceive scale here, as this was actually a bed, not my shield. <laughs> Oars pack. So, um, I, I, I lit, lit my, my torch, torch already. Your torches are wet. Since we're level three now, can I have an explorer's pack? Because we didn't really yep. go over that. Uh, my, my torches, torches are wet. wet. Um, I'll, I'll cast create bonfire, bonfire at the tip of the torch to evaporate the water. You're so smart. Wait, there's no way to... Ugh, I have to close it? <clears throat> Uh, man, oh man, am I nourished. <clears throat> so, not all of us lost our items, right? It was just Pal because he threw his shit on the boat? Because he dropped it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, I jacked some rice when we were downstairs. What an idiot! <laughs> Pal, you should have made a, an athletic check to leap and grab the... Oh, never mind. You were unconscious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, I don't know much about boats. I got got. Hmm. Yeah, fuck, I, I have to pop this thing out, it's annoying. Without being popped out. Yeah, your character sheet? Yeah, but to add items, I can't pop it out. Like, to drag the items to the oh, inventory. Oh, right. That's true. Like like adding the explorer pack, I had to close the window, open a new character sheet, drag it to the character sheet, and then pop it out again. Do we level up yet? Are we level four now? No. <laughs> How often do we level? How do we calculate that? He's just gonna tell us. 
I think he said at the end. Quest of the giver? Thing. How much experience did I gain? That felt like a quest. Killed the evil blood witch. Can I, uh. Can I swim over to the rubble? And look for goodies? Since I'm a, a thief and I like pillaging things. I don't like I don't like things to go to waste, you know. Um, okay, so you wash up on this beach. Yeah. What exactly are you guys talking about doing? What's your plan? So I wanna the, I wanna swim work. I wanna Planet search the rubble. Night. And it appears to be the middle of the night. Okay. Do we hear anything? Um other than the crashing of the check. wave. You hear nothing. Zeruli, did you just make that perception check? That, that was, that was that when was he was bad. looking at the debris that he thought was his shield. You do see these two bodies over here. Yes. I see a light. Do these look distance. like old washed up bodies or like fresh bodies like they were just killed on the beach? Uh, they look... You can do a medicine check for me to see. A what check? I, 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 I can, can check. check. Oh, medicine? medicine? Uh, I can move forward in medicine. Oh, look at that nat 20. But you don't need to... What type of... Uh, these are actually you? the two bandits and the dinghy. <laughs> <laughs> Good for that. Where, where's the third? <laughs> to be determined. He, he's up here. I can see shit. What kind of check would it be to determine our, uh, what direction we're facing based on the stars? Actually, I don't even know if that's. Yeah, that's possible. You can do it with constellations. Oh, I saw, I saw some shit move in the bushes, guys. Wait, wait, real quick. What does the medicine check accomplish? It was it's checking tricky. if they're fresh or, or not. The bodies. Ah. Oh. I wasted a nat 20 on that, don't worry. Okay, I really want to search this ship. Can I go search the ship now? The, the wreckage? What? what? Yeah, you can search the wreckage. Make me athletics check this one out. Yeah, the storm and Tim. Athletics or acrobatics? Athletics. <laughs> uh, as you go to swim out, you're not strong enough, and you get thrashed across a rock as you're swimming. Uh, okay, so I made it, but I got hurt. You take three points of bludgeoning damage, you get thrashed against a rock. You're getting pulled further out into the undertow as you're swimming out. What would you like to do? Do you want to use that, Parks, or not? What? My roll. What roll? You don't have a roll? Oh, that's true. Oh, yeah, how'd you... Oh. Uh, you hear some rustling from like up this direction. Uh, where at? I don't know where you're. I just picked right. it. Bottom left. I'm trying to determine the direction of where we are. So that I don't really know north south right now. Friends, I hear a noise. I'm going to Wait, attempt to swim out. Uh, I'll just. Ball, I'll, mm. You're getting pulled out deeper into the water. I mean, generally just going under the water and swimming down is fairly safe from whatever the hell's going on up top. How good's your character at survival? Survival. Uh, not. Oh, they wouldn't <laughs> know that probably. I mean, it's, a, it's just a plus one. It's not a... I'm not... Um, okay, I mean, you can try. Make me a check to swim back to shore if you want. Oh, no. Mm. <laughs> Goodbye, Tim. <laughs> See you in the next campaign. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna end up like these two bitches on the beach. <laughs> Alright, athletics. I really don't understand why some of these are athletics instead of acrobatics, but... Because it's uh, not do, you, do you use acrobatics to swim, Tim? Yeah, it's it's not no, just it's, brute it's, strength. It is. What do you mean? No, it's not. To swim against the current is brute strength. 
Well, now I'm not swimming against the current. If I'm swimming back to shore, you're getting pulled out. You're getting pulled out. You're swimming against the current. It's strength related. Both ways. You get slammed into a sharp piece of wood uh, on the ship. So you get pulled out. The greed. The greed. The greed. Oh, four points of piercing damage. The greed, wow. the greed is real. Uh, does anybody want to go help save Tim? I don't know. Wait, I'm still out here? Yeah, Tim, you haven't swam back yet, dude. You decided to swim out into a rough ocean uh, storming. Oh, storm. Storm. Oh, I just attempted to swim back. What do you mean? Let me let me explain to you what you just did. You <laughs> swam out towards a fiery wreckage in a rocky ravine of like dangerous waters that are already stormy and choppy. And there's an undertow dragging you under. But there might be four gold there. <laughs> but it doesn't even sound that stormy. But honestly, the only real mistake you made was entering the water at all. Going into the waves? Uh, where they're breaking yeah. on the shore, which is like the most dangerous place to be in the water. Does anybody want to go save Tim? I don't know uh, where he is. Well, I asked where well. the elf is. Sorry, I can't hear you over the storm. <laughs> oh, really I, I moved closer to Vladislav. <laughs> Do you think you're strong enough to survive the currents? Of course. Yeah, I'll, I'll give, give you as much light as I can. It's pretty fucking loud if you turn your volume up to 100%. <laughs> <laughs> it's not quite. <laughs> it's... <laughs> you're right, it is. Oh my god. Can't hear anything, guys. <laughs> I gave you as much light as I could. I'll send a message directly to your brain, both <laughs> men and Vladislav, asking, Where's the elf? Tim, make okay. me a constitution check. Alright, I'm gonna try. Hold on. I'm gonna How try. How long does this take to, to walk or run? What? How long does that take to run for me? Uh, six seconds. I'm familiar with. Yeah with the elf. I don't know where she is though, so I'm gonna try and send a message. Do you have a spell for that? How's that work? Yes, it's a cantrip. Um... You're gonna send a message, huh? Yeah, let me... Did that post you, you, Three there times, yeah. Okay. Alright, Tim, it's as your like head's buggy. getting bashed against a rock underwater, you hear a whisper from the orc. What, what do you say? Oh my shit. god, you rolled well, a jewel! <laughs> I didn't even- I didn't mean to roll that. Hey, there's no way to clear your lines, you draw. Wait, a D100? Yeah. I didn't- I didn't mean to roll. What the fuck is a yeah. D100? What do you mean? It's a roll out of 100. On the wild magic table. Wait, how'd you clear that? I cleared drawings. Is that just a GM tool? Mm-hmm. So, Ryan, if you go- go up to the top, if you go back to the select move thing, you can click on your object that you drew, or right, you can you drag and select all of them, and then I ask where delete. she is. Uh, I know innately that she's within 120 feet of me somewhere. I, I'm at the wreckage. And I say aloud, she's in the wreckage of the ship. <laughs> uh, and I'll, I'll just begin away. moving. There'll have to be one of us in the wreckage, brother. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, I move, I move here and I throw my rope. I do as well. And, well, I don't throw a rope, I just grab the end of his rope. And I ask, do you see her? Uh, I yeah, attempt yeah, yeah. to grab said rope. I'm, I'm walking. I'll, I'll come I'll up send and send another message that we're, we're throwing you a rope. I just got a 920 right. perception. You got visual. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually moved out this far at this point. And now, because the storm is so loud, I'm going to say, Hold on, I'll tell you when she has it. Um... <laughs> Tim, make an athletics check with advantage to get to this rope. Alright, you managed to hold on to the rope. Um... Alright, and you guys make an athletics check with advantage to pull her up. There we go. All right, you managed to do it, and uh, sort of straddled along her ankle is a large, uh, what appears to be, shield. <laughs> <laughs> what about the sword? In the thing. That's, yeah, in her, the, that's sharp, in her the sharp, back. The, 
The sharp piece of wood was actually a wakazashi. <laughs> the thing all it took was sacrificing <laughs> me. Potentially sacrificing Mel. I gave her a hard pat on the back. You're a better treasure hunter than I ever gave you credit for. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> Great, so I'm, I'm up here that now. Was a dumb thing to do. <laughs> yeah, I only lost, uh. Wait. Like 12. I lost a lot. I was at like 24 health or something out of 28, and now I'm at 15. Yeah, I lost like 9 um, health. Everybody, make me one more perception check. Oh my god, fuck me. Oh! Vlad, <laughs> wait. Vlad, you make it with disadvantage actually, because you're a human. <laughs> what? Not me, human. Everybody does. No, I have Actually, dark vision. You, no, it doesn't go this far, though. I have a torch. What? It doesn't go this far. It doesn't go how far? I can see that to, chest like, over here. Time turn by turn thing here. Plus, I was I was right here when I or right here when I uh, I rolled a super high perception check earlier. Okay, fine. Vlad, you see two figures. Can you see where I'm pinging? Yeah. Yes. Moving in the bushes, uh, drawing bows in your direction. You have mere seconds appears before they lose the arrows upon you. Archers hide. Are they? Uh, are they? The, the oh, archers oh. take your advice and hide in the bushes. <laughs> Wait, is, is Tim actually where he is? <laughs> no, no. I was saying I was standing here when I rolled a really high perception check earlier. Move to your actual position. Move to your actual position. Okay. No, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, real quick. Do you have a torch burning or not? I do. Okay. I'm gonna. So why is there a light source down here? It's like I can see over there just fine. Uh, you can Perhaps. see you can, you can see past these trees like what appears to be just sort of a fire burning off in the distance. Like why I do I see this guy? Do a short rest. I. Yeah. I never yeah. rolled hit dice. Hey, then do it right now. Okay. So I'll, I'll just roll one at a time, I guess. I was What's at one <laughs> the last I heard. Do I get my level of exhaustion? Five, ten. Yes. Does those go off after a long rest? Uh. Yes. Okay. So I, they are exactly know, sixty feet away, or the one is at least. And we're saying the kunai can go twenty to sixty range. Another... You could have attacked the lady on the ship, Tim. Oh yeah, I could have thrown a kunai. Uh, yeah. And then uh, I'll roll another. All right, I'm at 14. I'm the only person that didn't get hit. I uh, I see that the elf is bloodied, so I'll be trying to get my uh, healer's kit out and turn her attention towards it. Okay. Well, I mean, I can I can see just fine. <clears throat> so I see that you're doing this. Do you have high medicine? Like, are you good at medicine? I'm not very good at it. You can give it to me. I'm I'm quite skilled in medicine. Parts. <laughs> yeah. How wide is this? And this? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, it actually doesn't um, doesn't do anything for us right about now. About five feet. Then this one's about ten feet. Oof. <laughs> Never, never and mind that. And, and then this is about 15 feet up. Are we... We haven't rolled initiative, right? Uh, no, the archers, you're... Choo, choo. Because two arrows are loosed, uh, and they land sort of like right at your feet, Vladis, Vladislav. Uh, you hear two voices from the bushes. State your business! You bandit scum won't get away with what you've done to our town. We are not your enemies. We attempted to kill the sorcerer. Look at this pale orc. He sits before us and tells us he is not our enemy. Look at him. He is some form of evil oni magic. Look how pale his skin is. You are pissing me off. <laughs> Do you hear how he speaks in the foul tongue of demonic hordes? 
Uh, how would you like to handle these two guys? <clears throat> Wait, hang on. Before before this is proceeding, did, did did we not heal here? Did I heal? What what, what happened with that? No, that was irrelevant. Why was it irrelevant? It doesn't actually heal hit points. It doesn't? You, you need the healer feet for that. Oh. It, they're only used to stabilize people without a medicine check. Gotcha. Oh, uh, okay. <clears throat> um, I can... But that's on my body, so you know. I, I'll, uh... I run this way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my last four points of lay on hand to heal Tim four points. Sweet. Well, I'm gonna equip my shield and turn my skin all stony. Mm -hmm. just two more arrows ping at your feet. Choo, choo. And they sink into the sand. You sons of it, bitches! <laughs> I'll say, come with me, and I'll follow after Vladislav trying to provide cover for these two. Oh, okay. okay. Are you just trying to, like, run down the beach? Yes. Yeah, is he, uh, he's... He's taken off, right? Like, Vladislav is running away. I don't know, what is your plan here, Vladislav? Wait, he has no vision. To just, like, keep running this way? I have some vision. He did, no, no, Vladislav just has dim vision, right? He has none. He's running into the darkness. <laughs> Are you serious? I, I can see pretty well. He looks like he's, he's fine. Back to <laughs> <laughs> we, run after Hodges. we run after Hodges. We run after Hodges. Yeah, he's not. Hodges is gonna trip and damage himself. Slow down. Oh, well, he's, he's about 30. You, bar out of you us. barely notice the rock wall before uh, you narrowly don't smash your face directly. <laughs> Old man, dim your torch. Uh, I. Stay I, close. You hear him work. Shoot, shoot, shoot. As uh, uh, the arrows Parks. sort of break off the rocks and whatnot. Parks, you have to kill my torch. And you have to move me with him, because I have no yeah, idea where yeah. he is. Yeah, I'm trying to just keep him right. with me. Do I hear distinctly four Who wants to arrows? leave the group? Uh, I mean, it makes sense if I do, since I have dark vision. Do I hear... Four distinct arrow looses. Uh, you hear? You can make me. I, mean, I guess I'd be like an intelligence check, probably. Is there a clean way to ping intelligence from the sheet? Yeah. Yeah. Click it on intelligence. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hot. This re retarded sure. Russian. Pretty sure it's four. Uh oh. Lotus left, turn left. <laughs> Wait, Wait, like, his like his left see. or our left? Like his left. He's his running left. south, so he should turn left. So hey, left that way. <laughs> Are you still having me follow him? Yeah, you all. <laughs> all right. Somebody make me a survive a, a survival check. Whoever wants to lead the party. Lead I'll the give party. It a shot. <laughs> can can, can you even see? I can actually see. <laughs> There's two people that can see right now. They're leading the party. Yeah, I'll say I can see just fine. Right. Wait, why are there two Ryans now? We have two tokens. Make me the check. Okay. Help. Help, there are two Ryans. <laughs> okay. Pal, uh, you managed to lead the party to the outskirts of a town. <laughs> oh, we just left the beach? Okay. Um, left, right side, top, corner. Where are we going? Uh, bottom left. But you can now all very clearly see what's going on here. Blood is love. Did you notice the colors those men wore? The colors, eh. Uh... <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, I, I well, saw well, very good with colors. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I saw the colors. Uh... Wait, why am I not proficient in history? Do you want me to just use a roll to answer that or no? Uh, <laughs> you, no, it's up to you. I, mean, no, wait, I never, I never chose my second proficiency. Let me, like, let me make sure real quick. It just makes sense if I, I base it off of a roll, but do you want me to just... 
Uh, I, I don't want to lie, but... Perception. Oh, I'm just- I'm wondering what he saw. So With this advantage. To me. Okay. Exception with disadvantage, Hodges. <coughs> Remember, I'm, do I'm doing a lot of my rolls hidden. Um, yeah, Hodges, you actually think you made out of color? It looked to be green. Uh, could I make a... Yes, comrades, it was... it, it had to be green. But I'd like to to see what I can recall of green. If that okay. belongs to any particular clan or village or people. Yeah, go for it. Is that history? Yeah, it'll be history. Uh, so you actually know a lot about the color green. Wow. Uh, specifically about the... Arabs. <laughs> the Islamic <laughs> Caliphate. Yes, yes, the Islamic Caliphate. No, um... The snake clan is known to wear green, uh, and on occasion, sometimes the wolf clan is as well. But I suppose it's more commonly referenced with the snake clan. Green is like the, the snake clan, or perhaps the wolf. Can, uh, can you put your token on the map? Oh, Bottom sorry, left I was corner. In the astral plane for a second. Bottom left corner. <laughs> I'm in a burning... <laughs> burning roof. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Um, as you approach this fiery uh, cavalcade of a town burning, you see familiar looking bandits uh, sort of roaming around and sort of just uh, slaughtering villagers in the streets and making off with their gold and goods. Um, <clears throat> what do you decide to do? You I would like to state to the party. Women and children. And, like, I would like um, to state to the party. I, I think we should save bandit. them. Hold on, hold on, hold on, before you, before you just go yeah, around hold on. You guys are like on the edge of town right now. <laughs> yeah, we don't need to... How many feet away are we? Does this look like a bandit? Up here? Every, I know every it looks like we're like... Every five feet, feet now away. is ten feet. Uh, Sorry, every five feet? Is every square, every five no, every square feet. is ten feet. Okay. Oh, there's a raid on this village. I think we should protect them. Get as many people out as possible. Does anyone have any idea where we are? <laughs> where are we? Are? <laughs> Wait, uh, okay, what are you guys gonna do? I would be lying if I would said to to any of you that the the half elf did not drive me utterly insane. Not a half elf, you, you, you ugly fuck. <laughs> I'd like to run into town to protect people. Okay, as you run into town, make me a perception. You notice this part here as he looses an arrow towards your direction. You try to sidestep it in time, and let's see if you do. The dexterity saving throw or something? You, no, he misses his shot as you sort of sidestep out of the way. He rings a bell and he says, We've got company, boys! Uh, you see just sort of like some of them divert their attention from sort of ransacking the village and they look in your direction towards the end of the street. You hear more arrows, soup, 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 and loose from behind you as you hear some of the following party that was chasing you from the beach start to approach and say, I think they went this way, sir! We should run. Uh, you see before you a road that runs to the center of the village and off to the sides, like over here. It's mostly forged that's very dark and uh, sort of difficult to see through. But you see as you go this way and leave out of town, it sort of bends around a uh, river. And you see off in the distance what appears to be some kind of like a manor further up the road, maybe like a mile this way. We can't run. There's people to protect. Where did the voices come from? Were they behind us? Yeah, what they were the guys at the beach. What these does are the villagers. And this uh, these... guy up here, like. These guys are all commoners. This guy as well. Looks no. like a bandit. <laughs> this guy okay. looks like an archer, yeah. 
We must protect these people. It sounds like the villagers are trying to fight back. I'm okay. becoming furious. Um, I would like to you try to. Are, you guys are currently hiding behind a rock as arrows are like. <laughs> All right. As I look hmm. behind us, where the voices came from. Do I see anyone? Not yet. It's an ugly rock run. I tried my very mm -hmm. best. Who put this rock the in the middle of our road? Like this. <laughs> yeah, you should oh, draw I the rock push... closer to us if we're supposedly hiding behind it. I want to push them to town. I think you can just move it. You don't have to I'd delete like, it. I'd like to charge this area. I want to push him to town. Well, so, Ryan, he's up in a tower. You want to charge the tower? Try and knock it over. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Um, I, I would like to, to help Ryan. <laughs> All right, make me an attack against the tower. Say again? Actually, let's, let's roll initiative. All right, how about we go there? Makes sense. Wait, can we move to positions? I'm initiative, I lost initiative. There it is. Make sure you select your token when you roll initiative. You start behind this rock, so... And it won't fuck that order up. Hey, I gotta go first, right? Uh, nope. What? <laughs> Even with Somebody the you rolled a GM again, you fucking tard. I know. Yeah, I also rolled a net 20, and these guys have more decks than you, because I'm not old, man. It doesn't well. necessarily mean anything. There's no, there's no critting for skill checks. There should be. I'm, fi I'm finally faster than Tim. I rolled pretty low. I'll be right back. Although I don't really under. Wait, hold on, hold on. I rolled low initiative, but if I'm kicking off combat, how do you want to do that? Well, if You're it's not a natural one, combat. you can be on your feet. If anything, so, I, was the f I was the first one to charge into town. You didn't charge, though. I, I did, um, though. I don't know how many turns went by, but he said it was about 10 feet per square. Are we kind of converting that now, that 5 feet is each? Or is it 10? No, it's so, still 10. Okay, just in represent case, a large village. In any case, how do you want me? How do you want to do this? Am I first, or or, or basically? No, like you're 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 in the order. Here's the order. Okay, I'll be back. The numbers are me. So it looks like it's about a football field. <clears throat> I say uh, that aloud. It looks like it's a football field. This archer up in the tower, he rings the bell as he sees all of you, and he knocks an arrow into his bow and shoots it down at the first person he can see. Who is that? Hodges? Yeah. Uh, Hodges. Okay. He shoots it down towards Vlad. Still have cover? He, he, yeah. It plunges uh, into the rock and breaks the arrow shaft. He says, back up! I need backup! Um, and you see sort of some of like these bandit guys over here sort of come out of the burning houses with their hands full of gold and whatnot as they turn stuff into their purses. Um, you see another archer on top of this roof sort of peer out and try to take a shot at you guys, even though you're behind cover. And this archer back here tries to do the same. Go in the far back? Yep, 320 feet. 320, you just said? Yep. Um, okay, they're gonna go for Ariyama, and one of them's gonna go for Alan. Ariyama, what's your AC? 15. It hits you. Hey, what is the AC again? 18. Armor class. Oh. Yeah, but what's the roll? It's it's 18 and then a 16 after the um, reduction from your cover. All right, I'm gonna use a reaction to cast shield. Okay, the arrow, uh, as it flings towards you, you look back and you see it coming, and you throw your arm up, and sort of just like sort of a carapace of rocks form, and catch the arrow in midair and drop it to the ground with a thud. Um, Alan, Yoshioka, does a 19 hit you? The shield effect on the player or no? No, yes. I can only use it on my soul. An 18, uh, will hit me. 
All right, you take six piercing damage. As How are you determining that? Blade. What do you mean? I determine if it would hit. Armor class. Armor class. Okay. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, you get struck in the shoulder for six damage though. Yep. As a long bow's arrow is shafted into your shoulder, wedged deep within. Uh, it is now your turn, Yoshioka. The blind deaf old man grunts in pain. <laughs> I'm not deaf. I'm not blind. <laughs> I probably didn't see the arrow coming. That's why I got hit. <laughs> but you thought you were behind the rock, but you're actually just out in the open next to everybody else. <laughs> I'm not blind, okay. <laughs> what do you know about this 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 tower? <clears throat> Other than it being far away. <laughs> Wait, how far away is it? How, how what range are we giving these arrows? Every longbows have a range of three hundred and twenty feet. What? Fuck. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty. That's like one eighty. That's um, one eighty to three twenty. Is that? What uh, do I know about this tower? Is that made with disadvantage because it's at the extent of the range? They can shoot up to eighteen squares away. Let's say a sharpshooter. 180 to 320 is the range. Okay. I know, but I'm, I'm saying that the far range, I thought the range attacks are made with disadvantage right, from very far. Unless they have sharpshooter. None of, all of them are within 18 of you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so seven, they're 180 eight, away. Nine. We said yeah. it was 10. Okay, so. Okay, not this, guy, this guy would have had disadvantage. That's okay. about it. These two would not have had it. Okay. But okay. he missed anyway, so I'll just keep that in mind. Okay. Um, I'm moving up here, and I'm gonna cast Sanctuary on myself. Okay. Pretty selfish. You're gonna have to cast it on the villager right next to you. Well, <laughs> I plan to protect it. He's gonna knock the arrow out of the air with his katana. <laughs> Slice it down the middle. Slice it in half. <laughs> I would think the bandits would attack me over the villagers. I'm armed. They were already attacking the villagers. Oh, no, they're really no, the bandits. They just like right here. Um, all right, you cast sanctuary on yourself. Anything else? Um, as my. You see a scared child and woman next to you, sort of crying and begging uh, you to help them. <laughs> can I use my? Since they're within the range, can I use my action? to pull them behind me. Oh god, please don't hurt us! <laughs> Can I use my action to pull them behind me to this space? Like here? Yeah. Also, wait, uh, what is Alan's charisma? My, my charisma is 16. Why does he keep freaking people out so much? Yeah. <laughs> is um, he a scary, weird old man? D20. <laughs> yeah, maybe put on some pants. Maybe I think they're just kind of scared, but yeah, they agree. You said, get behind me. Uh, they get behind you. <laughs> That's my turn. Go to sanctuary and stand in front of them. Okay. <clears throat> After your turn, it is on Zeruli's turn. Okay. Um, and I'm opening my character sheet. I thought my charisma was higher than just 10, but okay. Never mind. Damn, you're fucking nothing. I feel like I messed up my character sheet, but... That's what happens on. when you get a 20, no, though. I remember it being 10. Okay. It persuaded you to take a little more wisdom than charisma. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Because we're already... <clears throat> pretty good on charisma. Okay. So, um... Just the two of you? Hmm... Yeah, I want to move towards attacking the guy in the tower. Okay. So it's like 10, 20, 30. Thief. You don't have second story work now, right? You went with thief. Have what? Did you go with thief? Yeah, so second story work? What is that? I don't yeah, remember that. At in the third level, uh, climbing costs you no extra movement. So next turn, you could use all of your movement to get to the top of this, or use your bonus action right now to use to, a dash, to like dash action up. to get to the top. 
It's 30 feet up. Wait, if it costs him no movement, why can't he just go straight up? He can. He costs that extra movement. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll dash up and try to attack him. No, no, no. Why does he have to use a dash if it's zero movement? Because he moved 30 feet to the position here. What's his movement? It's it doesn't 35. Cost, it does not cost extra movement to climb. It's still movement, oh. which doesn't cost extra. Got it. Uh, okay, you climb up there. Um, pretty cramped. What do you want to do when you're up there? Try to slash at him with the Kasari Gama. He can't. All right, I... you make an attack with disadvantage, though, as uh, you're trying to slash upwards towards the platform he's standing on. Wait a minute, I thought I made it up. I'm he's standing like... on the platform. Mechanically, I know, I thought I just climbed the platform. The platform is big enough for one person at the top. Oh. Yeah, you're like he's holding like, on. He's like, he's like kicking you in the face as you're trying to get up. Okay. Well, technically, you're not even able to attack, so he's just giving it to you. No, he yes, can. Yes, he is. He's a rogue, he can. Use the bonus action to dash. Oh. He can use his full action to now attack. It won't let me click I mean, the weapon. Oh, I'm clicking the items, just, that's why. You could, you could try to pull him off if you want. That would be my meta suggestion. Yeah, that sounds way better. Okay, yeah, I grab at his ankles to try to pull him off. Well, you can even use your Kasari Gamma. The oh yeah, hell yeah. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna try to hook him with the, the... the... sickle part of the Kasari Gamma. Do I roll the Kasari Gamma, or I, what do I click? You don't do damage, instead you would pull him five feet in any direction, so yeah, go for it. Just do your attack. With disadvantage. Yeah. I, I keep clicking it, it's not doing anything. Alright, Gamma. There it goes. Oh, it did go that time. Okay. Yep. So it's you... Alright, you swing the ball uh, up over your head, and uh, as he sort of tries to kick you, it wraps around his ankle, and you give it a nice tug, and he falls on his ass, and then rolls over your body, and slams hard against the ground down here. Uh, he takes... Yeah. But no, I was trying to do it with the sickle part, not the chain and ball part. You can't pull people with the sickle part. I, it's it's actually, a I hook. Have one question. It's like a hook if, blade. If we have you advantage, them. real quick, if we have advantage or disadvantage, and we accidentally make a normal roll, do we want to say that we're using that roll, and then the yes. first from when we re-roll, or just re-rolling the whole thing? The first, I would say. Yeah, that's fine. If you right, accidentally you... roll with advantage or disadvantage, use the one on the left. Yeah. I know, that's but, easy. But if you need to make a second roll, just roll normally without advantage or disadvantage, or use the one on the left. Okay. Perfect. Okay, you knock the guy in the tower down to the ground. Uh, after your turn... Wait, wait, wait what you did didn't you say how much damage it take. We don't know. Damage. Well, not, not how much damage. Uh oh. What, what does he look like if we if we see this? Is he like on like, on his back? Like he's like. Ugh! He's on his back, rolling around like. Aah! He dead likes it, <laughs> and his legs shoot out through his body. <laughs> <laughs> his legs go directly, like his ass cheeks are touching his feet now. <laughs> his legs just go straight up to the shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This guy moves up. Sounds like reverse stilts. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he goes to attack you, Alan. Okay. Uh, he raises an axe over his head and tries to bring it down upon your, your melon. Um, does a four hit you? A four? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. I have 17. <laughs> okay, this guy is running. And uh, as he's running, he's going to try and throw a hatchet at you. Oh, wait. Sorry. He has to actually make a wisdom saving throw. To see if he hits you? To see if the... the if he can even do the attack. Okay, sanctuary. Well, miss, oh, yeah, he's got anyone. sanctuary. Oh, God. Okay, Doesn't this guy come is... come off if you attack someone? It does. At the spell? Okay. Yeah. This guy actually um, does pass the wisdom saving throw, and now he has disadvantage on the attack, so we're going to roll 2d20. Because it's too far away. Uh, he misses you as the hatchet goes flying past your head, directly behind you. It strikes the woman in the torso.
I like how the fire just keeps resetting. <laughs> uh, Alan, how do you feel about this? Uh, wait, I don't even know. Who is the one that attacked me? That's the one right next to you? Oh. you? He threw a hatchet at me. Ooh. Yeah, and it missed you, and then it hit this one behind you in the torso. Um, well, that, I mean, that's not cool, but I don't think there's anything I can really do about it. Well, you did tell her to get behind you, you know? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it seems like if there was a thing getting thrown at me, I would, it, it wouldn't actually hit her. You, you ducked from the hatchet. <laughs> uh, I don't think that would have happened. I think it was like, it was like DM, DM is just throwing, throwing stuff out here. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> uh, DM doesn't know what they're talking about. Hatchet was blocked by a katana. Alright, you see a commoner get kicked out of the uh, establishment here. And you see a large, burly man step out with a uh, sort of just this like big ass blade. And um, the guy just sort of says, No, no, I have your money, I have your money. And it's just, <laughs> he just slices him in half with this massive blade. Uh, this that sumo wrestler looking man uh, waddles over and begins waking his way towards you all as he sort of it appears he vomits all over his blade Fucking sick. <laughs> it is now Vlad's turn I was skipped and it's now you're not even next you're last didn't oh. Vlad go? No. No, Vlad isn't going oh, okay. Yet. I thought he went very early. No. He was going okay. to do the tower thing, okay. but he was slow. And then we decided to roll initiative. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Okay. What? <laughs> what are you doing? What is, what is that? <laughs> Wait, why is so Ryan can't... drawing blobs around me? <laughs> Wanty. I will... I will feel the, the pulse coursing through my veins and I will <laughs> rage and swing at at this at this thief here okay <laughs> yeah you hit him <laughs> damn nine uh yep you slash and you chop off one of his hands oof blood starts splattering everywhere all over the woman and child they begin to scream it's okay. It's uh, I'm I'm the good guy. <laughs> uh, anything else you would like to do? No. Are you? I'll yell back into the woods. Be you snake clan or wolf, help us villagers. We're protecting your town from these bandit scum. And you ask them? I yell that back into the woods oh, okay. towards the direction of the voices that I heard. I mean, there was a question thrown in there. It's about six seconds, so. Are he? Are you snake or wolf? And then. <laughs> he said be the snake or wolf. Sound like. Yeah, like be you snake or wolf clan. Oh oh. Um, there's this guy over here that fell off the tower prone. I thought he was, but um, yes. then we were talking about his broken legs. He is prone. Be you angel or devil? Can we delete this red blob around me? Um, and then there's a bunch of bushes, correct? That are around the base of this tower. They basically mm -hmm. provide complete obscurement from the village. Yeah. Alright. I'm going to spend 10, 20, 30, and I'm going to say to this guy you stay put and sheath my wakizashi and lightning energy and slice at him 
I believe, with advantage if he's prone. Yep. You hit. You slash him for three. Damn. And, um, one second before I end my turn. Actually, that was 30 movement, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, never mind. Alright, uh... Yep, he starts to bleed out as he fades out into unconsciousness. Um, all right, after Ariyama, it is the archer's turn again. Uh, this archer up here is going to make a pop shot at you up here. The one on the roof? Yeah, yeah. we didn't see that ping. This guy. That, He's that over here. Him. Yeah, okay. Um, Tim, you are going to take three piercing damage. So when and does when does uh, armor class come up? I, I really don't understand. Whenever you want to hit something. No, well, my my armor class. For himself. Like you're I'm rolling, and if I don't hit your armor class, then I don't hit you. Oh, if the attack, you're saying, if the attack roll is less than 17, then yes. I don't get hit at all? Um, another error was... Soup! Whizzing past all of you and misses. Wait, is that correct, or is it equal to you hit? Equal to you hit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, your shield hits, your turn. Oh. Um... I'm going to I'm going to uh, cancel sanctuary because I'll be attacking um, the band right next to me with my comma. Okay. Oh, do I have advantage with Hodges there? Mm, yep. I mean, is he raging? I don't remember him saying he was raging yeah. or screaming. He said he was. So 17. Oh yeah, Hodges, you didn't scream. Ah! Nice, sorry. Now that he, now that we know he's enraged. So, uh, 17. Is that good enough? There you go. Eight slashing? No, it's three. Wait, why? One hand. Hmm. Yes. Three slashing damage to the bandit boy. You slice across his thighs and he yelps. All right, anything else you want to do? Um, with, uh, with that hitting, do you, do you have to do Define Smite once it says that you hit before the damage? Yeah, you do it after the hit's confirmed. Okay. Oh yeah, you wanna smite him? Well, I was just wondering. You would technically have to do it before you roll damage, but... Um, I don't, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do it right now. Um, I'd rather save a spell. But, uh... I can. Oh. Cool. I feel like Hodge is about to do something really stupid. What? Him? Um. Do you have sleep up? I do not. That's all I'll do. I'm done. Okay. Um, Zuri. So if I you throw like a kunai from up here, does it have advantage or anything because of height? Is it a thing at all? 
it, it would have no advantage or disadvantage because you have a height, but also because it's far away. Hmm. It would just be normal. So how far away is it to hit this guy? I'm drawing, whoops. They're 60 feet away from the tower here. 60. I see Seven. 40. What? You're, the base of the tower is here, not up here. Right. So I see, so you're, so you're to here. Be, this would be 10, 10 20, 20, 30, 30 40, 50, 60, 70. These guys, right? No, uh, yeah. some of this guy. This guy? What's the point of pinging if, if, <laughs> if no one looks? Um, 20, 30, 40. Technically, he's, it would be 42 feet. He's, he's 40 feet away. The hypotenuse of the triangle. Okay. Hmm. I'm debating whether or not I should climb down. <clears throat> See, what, what kind of damage did the kunai do? 1d6. That's not that bad, actually. Yeah, I'll try throwing a kunai. Right, this guy's already hurt, though, right? Or no? Did, was yep. he missed? Uh, he, he's hurt. He's hurt quite badly. And this guy is uh, unconscious, nearly dead or dying. He's, dead, yeah. He's bleeding He's dead. out. Okay. Um. And if only he had a bow. Can I? Let's see, that'd be 10, 20, 30. <laughs> is yeah, it, is this the base player, or? You know? The base is right here. So, like, would it to move to this square? Right there? Yeah, would that cost me 10 or would, like, is that. It's 30, 30 movement to get down Meta here. Meta knowledge, I'm planning on throwing you his bow and arrow. Hmm. What? what? The arrows, too? Like, you should throw me the whole quiver and they don't fall out <laughs> on the way up? <laughs> He's got. He's gonna have to make a roll for it. All right, all right, fine. I'll. I'll just chill. I'll just throw a kunai at uh, this guy. <clears throat> all right. Do it. Yep, you hit. All right, and then damage uh, is not advantage or anything. You throw a kunai, and it goes directly through his temple, and his eyeballs pop out of his head. The little girl screams behind him, <laughs> <laughs> and the mom and her run away behind him over here. I don't blame him. He falls oh, yeah. down to the ground dead. It's pretty gross. Uh, oh, can you edit? Can you put that token back and edit it and put like a red X through it or something? I don't like that yeah, they just why? disappear. Uh, alright. I'll do it from now on. How about that? Yeah, I need to suck the experience from their bodies. <laughs> How else am I going to drink Tim... blood from their bodies if I can't see their bodies, you know? That's because Tim wants to loot them like a thief he is. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if there's like a better, there might be a better status symbol for uh, dead, but I don't know. I didn't look through them. It's pretty self explanatory. Yeah, yeah. That's fine, Tim. Oh, look at this one. Okay. Dead. <laughs> After Tim's turn, it is. Ah, uh, the normal bandits. Alright, well, there's only one left. So this guy's gonna run up, Alan, and he's gonna charge at you with a spear. Um, he's gonna try to stab you. He misses. And he I'm actually not. runs kind of past you. A little bit. Uh oh, danger zone. Um, after his turn, Fatty starts waddling over even more. Ooh. Oh, okay, big guy. Oh, oh, he moved really quick, okay. Um, alright. It is now after their turn. Conscious? Flawed. Vladislav. Vladimir Slavian. I'll just you there. Yeah, one second. Died, died of Rona. Look up, look 
yet. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Suki. Suki, bliet. You win. Sorry. Okay. This douchebag charges me. Well, he charged me, but. You should uh, step over the bloody body and slip. I have one weapon. Is it uh, Naginata? Naginata. There you go. So. Is he not 10 feet away or is he? Oh, he's 20. Yeah, no, he's a... 20 feet. 20 feet. Oh, he got right. 20. Right. Um, because diagonal? Wait, how do No, no. Is, every square is 10 feet. Where did yeah, he He charged past me. He missed and charged past me. Oh, I forgot you were talking about that guy. Sorry, I was talking about this guy's 20 feet away. Where did he come from? Up, up, like right here. That's actually provoked an attack of opportunity. Okay, okay whatever, sure, just do it. Oof. <laughs> wow, what an idiot. You almost slash uh, Alan's head off. Oops. <laughs> I can. I, am I allowed to walk on this? <laughs> the dead guy? Here? Yeah, you can walk on the dead guy. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I step. Actually, I might. I might stay here. Oh no! Nope. Ten, oh, so, uh, I was. And I. I activate uh, reckless attack. And I uh, swing at a uh, at Fat Man. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at you and he slaps his belly. <laughs> a twenty six. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> you hit him. <laughs> hit him in the belly that he just slapped. Uh, that's thir thirteen slashing. Um. Yep, you got him pretty good. Oh! You slash across his big fat belly. <laughs> you are nothing to me! <laughs> oh. <laughs> he is gonna use his reaction, however, and he's gonna puke on you. Make me a constitution saving throw. You are disgusting! <laughs> You pass. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> um, alright. After... If you, if you think that I have not been puked on before in combat, you have another <laughs> thing coming. Alright, yeah. <laughs> me? Yeah. You said Ariyama? Okay. I'm going to... Well, let me consult the DM on action economy here. Mm. So I don't have this all straightened out yet. I want to sheath my Wakazashi and then pick up the bow and the quiver and toss it up to the up the tower to the road. Yeah, it's probably gonna be your whole turn. Okay. I'll do that. I'll sheath my Wakazashi and say, I'd like to see some more of that elven accuracy. Alright, uh, make an athletics check. Alright, Ryan, I'm gonna send you a message in chat. Please just add this for your rage. It'll. You throw the bow. Seems like you hardly ever attack way. without rage, so. Just just check that box when you're in rage and uncheck it when you're not. It'll you add the two the damage. Uh, you can. You wanna throw them separately? Yeah, sure. Alright. Another. Wait, which one got stuck halfway up? The, the bow. bow. You okay. got the arrows. Great. In fact, they all start falling out as he throws it up, and you catch it in the quiver like, like a ball in a cup kind of thing, you know, like really deftly. <laughs> but yeah, the bow is like kind of stuck 
on like one of these rungs up here, sort of hanging on. Best I've got in me. <laughs> um, all right. And then I have some movement. Um, there's still a rock there, right? Kind of. Yeah, the rock got deleted. 10, 30, I'm gonna go fight right there. Bandit bow as a tank. That's my turn. Okay. Uh, it's now Yoshioka's turn. That's not the archer's thing. How many arrows oh, were in the right, quiver? You're right. Uh, you have eight arrows. Uh, this archer is gonna make a shot at Vlad. Going on the roof. Yep. Misses. The other archer is also gonna make a shot at Vlad. Vlad, what's your AC? 14. This one hits. You take six points of damage. Keep in mind you're raging, so you have resistance to the damage. I also have have reckless attack activated, so they roll with the advantage. Oh, I should do that then. Let's see if they get a crit. No crit. Okay. Uh, these guys go out of turn. There's, there's too many of them. Let's get out of here. And they start running away. So now it's my go? Uh, yeah. Go. Gonna attack the spearman who came and charged me. Yeah, you can with attack my, him. With my katana? Sure. Do I have advantage with Hodges there, or is it when he's next to No, it's only attack? when he's five feet within Hodges. Oh, never mind, we're ten feet, yeah. You're right. Wait, it's actually like 20 feet from Hodges, but alright. Owl or I'm right, I'm right next to Hodges. I know, but it's whatever the enemy is at the five feet of Hodges. That's what I was asking. Okay. Oh. Huh. Oh. You hit him. Yeah, there's the more damage. A nine. Okay. You slash him for nine. As he runs past you, you slice at his guts and he sort of <gasps> grabs at his abdomen. He's not quite dead yet, though. And I will stay where I am. Okay. Um, after your turn, it is. Hey, Alan, for the type, why don't you type like one so hand what? slashing and then two hand slashing? Like one H, two H. Tim, your turn. Alright, so I don't oh, have the bow yet. Figure it out later. Um, so I guess I'll move down 20. No, 10. It's only. How, how far down is it to get to the bow? Uh, you can get it and get back up if you want. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. So I, I has bow. Yep. Um. What's the damage on the bow? Is it a 1d6? Yeah. Okay, and that's, what is it, piercing? Yep. Dim has become... You're gonna throw the bow at them? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Isn't that how they work? You stab with the arrows and you throw the bow. And so these, these fuckboys are retreating, and they're within range, right? Um, yes, those two are retreating. Um, I don't like bandit scum running away. Is, is the building blocking <laughs> this guy? Yes. <laughs> what about this Actually, guy? no, you can probably make it. It's gonna be a disadvantage for both the attacks, so. Both of them? They're, you yeah, said the range is like 300 feet. No, yeah, these yeah. guys have long bows. You have a short bow. Oh, dicked. 
What's the range of the short bow then? I'll edit it. Uh, by the short bow. It is 80 and 320. So you can still attack at 320, it's just done at disadvantage. If they're 80 or closer, it's normal. This guy is just barely, he's 90 feet away from you. Feels bad. Hmm. Actually, it's, 100, it's 180 feet though, because of that. Wait, yeah, you can try to hit this guy. You can even try to hit this guy, just disadvantage. <clears throat> Alright, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll roll disadvantage on one farther away. Okay. Yeah, you hit. Alright, you strike him into the calf, and uh, you see just blood spurt out from him. As he starts limping away, he says, Ah! It's not worth it! Let's, let's go! Okay, grab what you can! Okay. Um, I think the bonus action, I, I don't get into extra attack or anything, so I guess I'm, I have to be done. Yes. It's Fatty's turn. He looks uh, Vlad dead in the eye, and he sort of like <coughs> looks this massive cleaver of a weapon over his head, coated in his own vomit. And you see like the fumes coming off it. It stinks terribly as he tries to cleave down into you, Hodges, with advantage. You have no idea what you're getting yourself <laughs> into. That's gonna be a crit. <laughs> um, so, Hodges, you're going to take 19 slashing damage. Oof. Plus an additional four poison damage. Make me a constitution saving throw. All right, you pass. Just <laughs> I don't like it. It's my own special brew. Uh, his turn is done now. So after him, it's um, blood. I recklessly attack him again. You hit him. <laughs> Wait, that, that's not a reckless attack, though. Right? Now it is. Okay. Uh, you actually miss him. No, it takes the higher. It's advantage. No. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You do. Yeah. I was thinking of something else. Okay. Do your damage. Nine slashing. Nine? Yes. Alright, you slash at him and a chunk of blubber falls to the ground. Why, I need to die! <laughs> um, alright. After uh, Hodge's turn, I believe it is Ariyama. I will reach my hand into my satchel and thread my fingers into my Nakode. So basically, I'm drawing my Nakode little fist weapon. And I'm going to try and slash this guy right in the chest in front of me. Okay. And the same kind of shit. My hand sort of becomes sheathed in lightning. Woof. Okay. Uh, you reach your hand in your satchel as he's sort of running past with the spear, and you just like stick it right in his gut, and the booming energy just sort of blows him up from the inside as the viscera spews out of all of his orifices. As he sort of turns into a pink mist as he runs by. Wait, so he hit him with the five? <laughs> he 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 got a one on the roll. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, he hit him. <laughs> All 
All right. <laughs> I'm gonna turn and look and see if there's any villagers coming this way. I didn't realize that he rolled a five. I, I thought I saw, maybe I looked at the 16 up here. <laughs> um, yeah. No, there's no villagers. The ones that have already gotten away have gotten away. Okay. What are you doing, Hunters? That's it. Uh, the only person left that you can see, these guys are running away. Yeah, I'm not moving. But there's still this guy, who's not looking great. But these guys run away. And then... Uh, Actually, after that, it's your Shirka's turn. I'll go behind the rock, and I'm, tr I'm trying to look for the villagers if they're coming. Alright, yeah. you managed to save about six villagers, though, in the time that you're searching around outside of combat. So there's just the one guy left, it looks like, mm -hmm. that we can Fat see. Boy. Okay. I'm going to... Wait, is this guy escaping successfully? Because, like, he got shot in the calf. Oh, yeah, right. Maybe we'll make him move one last. I need to loot! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna... Swing at him. Whoa, why are you sideways? How'd you do that? <laughs> I'm, I'm swinging at our, our big boy here with the katana. Okay. Make, a, <laughs> make an attack. But, I guess, um, I'm actually... Oh, I got it! <laughs> I'm actually, like, here, because it's be within 5 feet. Advantage. You're not within 5 feet. You're within 10. What? Right? Right? It doesn't matter. What is it? <laughs> is everyone turning? The advantage is, you have advantage. Go for it. Okay. This is still 17. Uh, Seven. okay. Yeah, you hit. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Alright, how do you want to kill him? Uh, clean, clean head. Right just off. Just like the cap decapitation? Decapitation. What? Like he's spitting on people. Just, this non-aggressive old man is <laughs> trying to decapitate fat fucks? I'm not like, non-aggressive. That's, that's he not... looks at you and he says... <laughs> he starts puking, and the puke starts coming out of the slit in his throat as his whole head just sort of slides off as vomit and entrails and blood sort of spurt all over the ground in front of you. Ugh, this sick fuck old man. Jesus. Swift up. Uh, yeah, you managed to save a lot of the villagers. Um, you do see that the two bandits up here got away, though. This one, too? Uh, Come on. I, I, I don't get another he is, arrow shot. He, he is, you can get one more arrow shot, but he is bleeding. You could track him, maybe. Fine, fine. Is it my turn to, to shoot an arrow at him, or no? Well, you get one more chance. Go for it. All right. Yeet. Oh, baby. Uh, you crit? Yeah, baby. Alright, you shoot him. Do you Wait. want to kill him? I didn't add the crit part yet. Crit is still another 1d6, right? Well, you just kill him. I mean... The crit uh, happens automatically. You just click on the... Well, no, it has to be in the, the thing. It wasn't on the okay. sheet. Oh. Got it. Yeah. Oh, wait. You have disadvantage. Oh, yeah. Cool. <laughs> Roll again. Yeah, fuck your crit. Yes. Oh. <laughs> you don't hit. <laughs> wow. Dicked. Get away. So everyone has longbows except the one guy I killed happened to just have a short bow conveniently? Well, he was the tower fuck that wasn't allowed to loot. It probably, it probably is for your, the betterment of you anyway, because I think there's a strength requirement for longbows of 12. Hmm. Or Tim's becomes the bow fag. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> All right, then get away. Man, um, we made it one session. This guy can't keep a bow out of his. Hand. <laughs> um, I this is the guy who threw the bow to me. Really tired on my end. Okay. Well, we we saved the villagers, and that's what's yeah. important. I'm almost. I mean, this whole thing's almost done. You can wrap it up some other day this week if you want. It shouldn't take much longer. I'm just really sleepy right now. Mm. Did this guy drop anything when I hit him in the, the calf, at least? Uh, no. sh sure. <laughs> he dropped some... His I bow. His long bow. <laughs> uh, he, he, he drops a copper piece. 
<laughs> Woo, copper! You gotta go dive through the fire for it. You have to, you have to go look for it, though. Um. Yeah, we'll, we'll call it there for right now. Shouldn't be much longer in this little uh, chapter or whatever. But whenever you guys want to play again. Okay, so we, we never distributed the, the gold. So we had four gold from like the floorboards on the ship, and then we had 14 gold from the cabinet, and what was it, two health potions? Oh, yeah. So you gave me uh, you gave me you one healing pot. Role play it, maybe later. I just want to like I, I want to notate it somewhere so we don't forget. I have noted it. He has it. Okay. How did, or Powell has all of it right now except for the potions. He gave us the potions already. When do you guys want to play again? Oh, uh, when you wake up. Work. Yeah, may, maybe tonight when you wake up, depending on when when you get up, Parks. <laughs> I mean, it, it's probably two hours left, so I had to guess in this chapter I've prepared. Oh, I did Probably won't be able to play again until...